There are so many offers, so many deals, enticing young people to spend. And the offers start the moment you turn 18. Where people are offering bank accounts with these perks if you do this and this and you know, other stores with their cards. You get them in the mail, like the fake credit cards, and you can apply for the real one, but it, I don't know what it all means. It's like some percentage of APR, I have no idea what it means, but I'm pretty sure it's a very bad idea. At school we were never taught anything about finance, no, not at all. Uh, and I felt like that was just, I, I only learnt it from personal experience and personal mistakes as well. <laughs> 34% of teenagers take out credit within a month of turning 18. 70% will take out credit before their 19th birthday. On average, they borrow almost £1,900, yet a quarter have given no thought to how they'll pay the money back. When Kate J turned 18, she was given a credit card by her bank without even asking for it. Within a few months, she was £600 in debt and started getting letters demanding payment. It's quite intimidating, I think, and quite frightening, especially when you know that you can't afford to pay it off. And the letters are sort of saying, oh, your credit rating's going to be damaged, it's going to limit your ability to get a mortgage, to buy a house in the future, that kind of thing. Successful entrepreneur Sarah Willingham knows all about budgeting. She says teenagers need to be taught. If you were told that, yes, you can have that coat, or yes, you can have that dress, but by the way, it's not going to cost you 50 quid, it's going to cost you 150, would you think twice about it? And it's just that education, it's just that knowledge, it's just that knowing. And I think we all have a responsibility to make sure that the next generation are not kind of gratuitous spenders through credit, but actually are doing it in a more educated way. Kate had to borrow from her parents to pay off her debt and now only spends what she has. She's still offered credit cards, but says she won't be tempted again. Leila Hayes, 5 News.